Hi again, everybody. Yannick Bisson here from CBC's Murdoch Mysteries. Um, I hope you're doing well. I hope uh, today's a good day for you out there in self-isolation. Um, it's a nice day here. It's a little windy. Got the dogs outside. So um, I'm going to tell you a little bit of what else I have been up to lately. Uh, one of the things that I can't do very much of while I'm filming Murdoch Mysteries is get into books. Um, well, the main reason is because I have to learn about 10 pages, anywhere between 6 to 10 pages a day of dialogue and um, basically have in my mind at all times four 60-page scripts, 62, so, somewhere around there, page scripts. So reading books kind of goes out the door, um, but I have had lots of time to do some reading lately and one of my all-time, all-time favorites. I've busted out again. Dune by Frank Hebert. Um, I read this when I was a kid and um, because they're doing a remake I thought I would get a jump and um, read it again. Um, the thing I especially loved about it is it transported me to other worlds, several other worlds. And if you're feeling like I am right now, you want to be transported to another world for at least part of your day. Um, so yeah, so I'm really stoked about that. Um, just to be able to read um, has just been great. Um, another one that I picked up, um, actually I picked up when I was going to be in the spa at the, uh, in, in the desert, in Palm Desert, uh, and we bought a whole bunch of books and magazines and different things that we were going to do and I <laughs> left them all in the garage literally like two or three hundred bucks worth of books I left them all in the garage but one of them that I got that I found uh, uh, super interesting looking was Agents of Influence by Henry Hemming it says a British campaign a Canadian spy and the secret plot to bring America into World War II it's pretty good actually lots of great details I don't know how a hundred percent accurate it is but a lot of fun to read um, and finally, what I started digging into this morning, I finally have my very own copy of my wife, my love's very first published book, Raising Your Kids Without Losing Your Cool. Uh, you can get it on, on Amazon, you can get it on Indigo, you can order it online and get the, the, the ebook. that's the version I have, so I can't actually show it to you because it's right inside there somewhere. So um, I have to finish this so I can whip it back open and read it. But I actually, <laughs> I actually laughed out loud four different times this morning, just in about half an hour of reading. And um, the girls were coming outside and asking me what I was doing. <laughs> um, uh, one that I uh, found particularly interesting is, hey, how come when I sneeze, I also... Never mind. You'll have to read the book and see for yourself. It's hilarious. It's a great take. It's very reassuring and um, it's a lot of fun. She's a very skillful writer and I'm so very, very proud of her. All right. I hope you're being smart. You're being safe. You're getting some stuff done and you're also catching up on the things that you've been wanting to do for a long time. All the best. Stay smart. Stay inside. And we're all in this together.